Oh, very possible. This is very, very possible. All right. You looking like a good glock to shut there, to shut the letter. Hey, Josiah. Oh, yeah, I did, but I Who'd have thought? <laughs> Thirty years ago, we'd be drink, sitting here drinking Chester the Chester wine, eh? Oh, I would have been glad that the price of a cup of tea, cup of cold tea. Was that milk or sugar? Or oh, tea. Don't be cracked, cook. Oh, we didn't have a cup. We used to have to drink out of the rolled up newspaper. This weekend man was stuck on a piece of dust for all. But you know, why I've been in those days, they were we poor. Aye, because we were poor. <clears throat> My old dad used to say to me, money doesn't buy you happiness. Oh, he was right. He was. I, I was poor then and I had, and I was happy. We used to live in this teeny old house with great big holes in the roof. Out? You were lucky to have out. We used to live in one room, all 26 of us, no furniture. <laughs> Half the floor in this thing, all huddled together in one corner for fear of falling. <laughs> we lucky that room. We used to have to live in a corridor. Oh, we used to dream of living in a corridor. Nothing <laughs> would have been a palace to us. We used to live in this old water tank down by a rookie tank. <laughs> we were woken up every morning by a load of rotten fish dumped all over us. <laughs> <laughs> Well, when I say apples, I mean, it was merely a hole in the ground with a piece of top in it. But it was an apple to us. We were evicted from our hole in the ground. <laughs> We'd go live in a lake. <laughs> <laughs> you were lucky to have a lake. There were 160 of us living in a small shoebox in the middle of the room. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you were lucky. We used to live in this brown paper bag in the subject tank. <laughs> We'd have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, clean the bag, eat a crisp of stale bread, go work down the 14 hours a day, week in, week out, and when we got home, our dad would thrash us to sleep with his belt. We <laughs> lost <Luxury. laughs> <laughs> We had to get up to the lake at 3 o'clock in the morning, clean the lake, eat a handful of hot towels, go work down the middle for two pins a month, and when we got home, our dad would beat us on head and neck with Broken bottle. If we were lucky. <laughs> well, you know we had it done. Yeah. We used to have to get a bath machine box at twelve o'clock at night and lick the road clean with our tongues. <laughs> <laughs> we had half hand full of freezing cold gravel. We go work down the middle twenty four hours a day for four pence every six years. <laughs> then we got down. Our dad sliced us and do with the bread knife. <laughs> <laughs> right. We used to have to get up in the morning, 10 o'clock at night, half an hour before we went to bed, <laughs> eat a lump of cord poison, uh, go down, work 29 hours a day down the middle, pay the mill owner to come to work, and when we got home, our dad would kill us and dad would have a grave thing happen to us. Well, you're trying to tell the young people that today, I'm in one of the media.